Vauxhall's smallest VXR badge rocket ship generates nearly 190 brake horsepower and punches a coarser shaped hole in the 60 mile an hour barrier in less than seven seconds on the way to a top speed of 140 miles an hour. Now those kind of figures demand respect and make no mistake the course of VXR does demand it. Vauxhall VXR products don't tend to be shrinking violets and the course of VXR, well there's very little that's low key about it. It's certainly no exception. The bodywork is riddled with scoops and vents with much of the styling and ender taking triangular form. The fetching wind mirrors have a triangle hole beneath plus there's a triangular exhaust finisher as a final retort to those left in the VXR's wake. Inside the cabin, Vauxhall has certainly pulled out all the stops to differentiate this VXR from humbler offerings in the Corsa range. The interior is dominated by these shell-backed Recaro seats which offer outstanding support and comfort. The flat-bottomed sports steering wheel is another feature that will set the enthusiast's heart a flutter. And of course you've got the standard Corsa build quality which is as good as anything else in the segment. This Vauxhall takes a turbocharged route to delivering its formidable performance. A 1.6 litre engine featuring a Borg Warner turbo unit that serves up the grunt in a progressive fashion from low in the rev range with no discernible lag. The 230 newton metres maximum power output is developed between 1850 and 2850 rpm, but a clever overboost facility enables the driver to have 265 newton metres of torque for a period of five seconds when full throttle is deployed. Around £16,000 looks expensive for a spoiled super mini, but a bit of a bargain for 189 brake horsepower, 140 mile an hour performance hatch. It all depends on your point of view. You certainly get a lot of kit for your money. Electronic stability control, air conditioning, central locking, CD stereo, all the stuff you could want really. While it might be a shade extreme for some, both in looks and personality, there seems little doubt that the VXR's target market will lap this car up. But they'll have to be quick because production constraints mean that just two and a half thousand of these cars will be available for sale in the UK each year. This promises to make the course of VXR a relatively exclusive site on UK roads, but it should protect its resale value. Now once you've got your hands on one, running costs should be pretty agreeable, with a combined fuel economy figure of 35.8 miles to the gallon and 190 grams per kilometre of CO2 emissions. There's no real comparison between the course of VXR and the 1980s shopping rockets that started the whole hot hatch thing off. The Vauxhall size and sophistication see to that. The whole genre has evolved with more power and performance, but also adding comfort, safety and practicality. In Vauxhall's hands, the hot hatchback has become more of a performance all-rounder that's adept in a wide range of driving conditions. But just like the old Masters, it's still at its best when shown a winding road and given its head.